Hello, I'm Nancy Chen, and welcome to our session on being present. Presence, why 80% of success is about really showing up. Where did you hear that? Well, that comes from a Woody Allen movie, Annie Hall. Remember that one? You know, if only life were so simple, just show up. But you and I, we know that it's about how you show up that really counts. So the question is, how have you been showing up lately with your clients? We all probably have a good idea about how we'd love to come across to our clients, but do we do this consistently? Let's take an inventory. First, there are the five physical senses, right? The most important of which are what? Seeing and hearing. Now, are you seeing and hearing with just your eyes and your ears or your entire being, all of you? We're going to work on that today. And how about the sixth sense, intuition? How's your inner knowing and wisdom these days? We're going to be working on that as well. And guess what? In addition to those six, I can name five more non-physical senses, which are really important also for us to develop a deeper rapport and connection with our clients. For example, coming to the table in a genuine way, bringing our hearts and our minds in an open, empathetic space, being fully expressed and in our power with all our abilities as a coach to help that client through positive change, making sure that our actions speak of the integrity that we represent. All of these things we know work. Why? Because your client can feel them. You know that they can feel your energy, your intention, and your power. And when that all comes together, that enables them to open up to. They have greater trust and confidence in you. And guess what? That will increase your ability to influence their thoughts and their actions. And isn't that the definition of leadership? It's one's ability, your ability, to influence another person's thoughts and actions, of course, in a positive way. Now, guys, I am talking about something here that is much bigger than just chemistry, your chemistry with a particular client, or even your walking your talk, which is you yourself doing what you're asking your client to do. I am talking here about bringing your business to an entirely new level. And what's that? It's about showing up 100% as your best self, the fullest version, the most authentic version, the most powerful version of you. And you know what? When you do that, then you are truly being the change that we talk about, being the change that you want to see in your clients, in your organizations, and that we all want to see in our world. So who's with me? Great. What are we going to be doing today? First, I would love to share my definition of mastery with you, which is grounded in living out our life in the state of being for as many moments as of the day, really, as possible. We're going to need to see and touch and feel what being present really means and what it means to you, what it's going to buy you. We're going to do this by practicing, accessing this place by using a simple and powerful method that you can call on anytime to come back to your flow, to your center. And finally, we're going to have a role-playing exercise, coach, and client so that you can practice being and staying present, full self with another person, your client. We're going to wrap it all up by summarizing our takeaways and then a critical next step because all of this really means nothing unless you can take what we learned today and apply it in your life. So hopefully you will see that making a commitment to practicing being centered and staying present Making it a daily discipline and a daily habit will reap you the greatest rewards.